right now across the country there are uh, uh, 1138 wildfires burning with 817 fires designated as out of control. By nearly every metric, Canada is seeing its worst wildfire season ever. How bad is it? This is a graph from the Canadian Wildland Fire Information System tracking some of the worst years yet. The red line was 1989, till now Canada's worst year in terms of area burned at just over 6 million hectares. And here, far, far above it, is 2023 with more than double that, with the season still not over. This is, has been the, the worst firefighting season. And I'll go back to uh, approximately 2016, 2017, when we saw natural disasters, uh, uh, the federal response increasing. In fact, actually, when I was Minister of National Defense, we've uh, deployed the Canadian Armed Forces year after year. We saw the trend actually increasing. Canada's Northern Forestry Centre adds this year is especially bad as the frequency of fires isn't tapering off, but continuing to rise. And though Quebec has seen the most hectares burned, the fires haven't been concentrated in any one area or province. Though the majority are in remote regions with little road access, some others have been in what's called interface areas, where the wilderness meets urban areas, and urban firefighters don't always have the skills or knowledge needed. This funding will support a pilot project to train structural firefighters to respond to fires in the interface. The federal government announcing $400,000 expected to train around 300 municipal firefighters on how to deal with interface fires. Even with the new training, those urban firefighters aren't expected to be sent to fight wildland fires. But there's an understanding that there's a growing risk the wildland fires could come to them. This training is, is developed and designed, as the question earlier kind of stipulated, for, for municipal firefighters to protect their communities uh, on an initial uh, first response basis. Will that help them if they get deployed in other areas to protect other communities? 100% it will. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.